But hey guys, and welcome back. And happy Easter. I know Easter was last week, but do you know that it's still Easter? And it will be Easter for a couple of more weeks? I think it's great. We get to think a long time about the fact that Jesus Christ is risen from the dead. And when I think about the resurrection, when I think about Easter... I think about this time Miss Eileen and I were walking across a bridge in Pennsylvania. We were in Harrisburg and there was this big long bridge that went from this island that we were on to the city. And as we were walking along the bridge, we looked off to the right and we saw this person who looked like he was walking in the middle of the air. I was starting to wear glasses, so I was wondering if I was starting to see things. But as I got closer, I found that the guy was walking on a very thin cable. He was a tightrope walker. He was standing about 100 feet off the river, holding a big pole, kind of like this broom, but a lot bigger and a lot nicer. And he was walking really, really slow across this cable, high above the river. It was amazing. I've never seen a tightrope walker that close before. He walked really slow, but he was really confident. He would slide his right foot forward, and then his left foot foot would follow and come together. And then he would do it again. And we watched him inch across the river and make it, and we were holding our breath as he was over the water. And then we felt a little better when he made it to the shore. And then when he was just a few feet off the ground, we knew he was safe, and then he jumped off. You know what I believed in that moment? I believed in that moment that that guy was an amazing tightrope walker. But I want you to imagine something for a moment. Imagine that the guy then strapped a refrigerator on his back and got back up on the tightrope and walked all the way to the bridge and all the way back, about 200 yards. What would I think then? I would think he is the most amazing tightrope walker I have ever seen. But what would I say if he said, okay, if you think I'm so great, get on my back. Do you think I would? Well, I believe he's a great type of walker, but I wouldn't get on his back. You know why? Because I'd be afraid of falling. You see, sometimes it's possible to believe in something, but also to be afraid at the same time. And that's what today's story is all about. The disciples believed that Jesus Christ was risen from the dead, that if Jesus could come back from the dead, he can do anything, and they shouldn't be scared of anything at all, right? but they were afraid. They believed that Jesus was alive, but they were afraid at the same time. That happens to us sometimes. How do you think Jesus felt after he came back from the dead and the disciples were still afraid? Do you think he got angry with them? Well, you'll have to go downstairs to find out. Oh, wait, we can't. We're not a church. But what you can do is discover this with your family. There's a link to the family challenge in the description of this video. Or you can go to pacificunionchurch.org forward slash church small and then you can find the discussion guide that can help you discover the answer, how Jesus helps us when we're still afraid, even when we believe. So take a look at that, discover that with your family, and we'll see you guys back here next week. Take care and God bless you.